Hello Pepsters and welcome back. Uh, bago tayo umalis, sinabi ko nga na mas magiging personal tayo kay kay, uh, kay Chino. Okay. Para mas makakilala naman natin siya. Kasi uh, sa mga ano, sa mga pagkukwento niya, parang ano eh, parang mas gusto niya mga dark, gothic. So tanong lang natin, kung nung maliit ka ba nun, nung, nung maliit ka pang girl, uh, imbis na Barbie, yung, <laughs> nung little girl ka pa, nung bata ka pa, okay. Ano mga kinokolekta mo? Kasi parang ang nabasa ko noon eh, instead of Barbie and ano, ang iba raw ang kinokolekta mo eh. Iba raw yung mga gusto mo eh, nung bata ka eh. Mm-mm. Ano um, nga ba yun? Medyo, eto, hindi ako masyadong mahilig sa mga toys. Mm-hmm. Ay, binibigyan ako ng nanay at tatay ko ng mga laruan. Pero ang nagbibigay sa akin ng joy pa is yung makakreate ako ng something from... Yung mga garbage, ba? <laughs> garbage? Ah! Kung ano, may mga bo- Isa ka sa mga fans ng may pera sa basura, parang mga ganyan. Ga- mga ganyan. Ah. Tapos nakakatawa kasi meron ako nun mga imaginary things na ginagawa na kuwari bote na used. Gagawan ko siya ng parang para maging dull ko siya. Tapos mm. dinidisplay ko yun dun sa shelf. Tapos bata pa lang ako. Yung nanay, yung daddy ko kasi sobrang mahilig magbasa. So, ang collection ko, libro, <laughs> comics, oh, meron naman ng mga Archie, ganyan. Tsaka, dumaan din naman ako sa levels ng Sweet Valley High, guys. Hindi naman tayo laging nakakatakot. Pero, yon At tsaka, eto, 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 secret to, na hindi masyadong maraming taong nakakaalam na kung kayo naglalaro ng mga laruan, ako, pinaglalaroan ko yung sarili ko. <laughs> Paano? Uh, ginagawa mo ng bahay? Playhouse? Um, sarili mo? Ano ba? Um, hindi ko alam na yun pala yun. Na gusto ko pala maging aktor. Hindi mm-hmm. ko alam. Pero nung bata ako, madalas yan, iiwan lang nila ako sa bahay. Tapos, gagawa na ako ng characters. Yung t-shirt ko, ilalagay ko sa ulo ko para long hair ako. Tapos, depende na kung princess or nun. O kaya, basta kung ano-ano naiisip ko. Mga ganyan. Tapos madalas ang, ang kalaro ko sa lamin. Lagi kong kinakausap yung sarili ko doon. Hmm. Well, Sumagot na naman. <laughs> Kaya ako sagot ko. Oh. Ako yung sasado din. Ganun, ganun ako nung, nung bata ako. Yan yung mga things na gusto ko. Tapos ngayon naman, may nakapagsabi rin sa akin na you collect uh, dinosaurs. Huh? Hindi. Typewriter. Kasi wala ka nang makita rito eh. Dinosaurs na yun eh. Wala ka nang makita. Wala ka nang makita ng typewriter. Yeah, I do collect typewriters. So bakit typewriters? Old um, typewriters. Well, because um, there was a time in... Okay, there was not a time. There was a decade in my life that I completely forgot about the fact that I could write. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, after... Well, 2013 came and all of a sudden... Sobrang daming flow na dumating na, na nagulat ako na oh my gosh there you are again that kid that kid that I was when I was nine who was you know who who loved to create who loved to imagine she was back and I don't know why all of a sudden I had a fascination for typewriters I like the fact that hindi na siya yung instant mm-hmm. I like the sound I like how, uh, the, the sound of it tapos yung yung mismong history of that machine I, I i like it so um it was nice because because of that ano fascination for typewriters i have five mm-hmm. they have names five. may names pa oy para nga pala sa mga pepsers na hindi nakakaalam ng typewriter ko nature nila i google nyo uh, ah, so ako mismo sila sa instagram account ko pinapakilala ko sila Ayun, kasi mga bata kasi sila hindi, hindi nila alam ko nature ng typewriter oh meron ako yung first ko yung orange is boris mm-hmm. Yung second ko, green yun, si Wicked. Tapos, meron kaming dalawang special typewriters in our family. Yung isa from my mom's side and my dad's side. So, I specifically named yung kila mama, Bien. Tapos sa dad ko, si Jean. Tapos, I bought... Yung mga uh, typewriters ng tatak, Royal, Underwood. Yes, R- um, Royal. Then there's an Olivetti. And Olivetti. there's a oh. Smith Corona. Ganyan. Tapos, recently, I bought one. Yung, ro- yung first Royal typewriter ko na pink. Pangalan niya si Marie Antoinette. Mm. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so weird. Interesting. Pero ganun, ganun lang. Tapos, may times yan na... Ito pang weird. Pag nagsusulat ako sa mga typewriter ko, depende sa kung sinong gamit ko, ibang lumalabas. Mm. 
may mga sarili silang kaunawa. Sabi ko sa inyo, bruha ako. Yeah. Ito naman, kailangan lang natin itanong sa kanya. Kasi syempre, uh, it's your choice if you want to answer or not. Yeah. Uh, uh, nung nag-break kayo ni, ni Ryan, so uh, nasabi mo ro na uh, the next level, since you're nine years, the next level would be for him to propose to you. And mm-hmm. you feel you cannot uh, marry him dahil parang sabi mo, you're incomplete. Sabi mo, you cannot, yes. uh, you cannot uh, give yourself to another person if you yourself parang hindi ka complete na person. Yes. Paano mo nasabi yun? Bakit mo nasabi yun? Um, we were very young mm-hmm. when we became a couple. And um, after a few years, that's that. There's so much learning in it. Na parang pag umabot ka kasi ng sampung taon, parang tantamount na to a marriage, if you think about it. Pero kasi, nung panahon na yun, ang, ang fault namin pareho, na napag-usapan din naman namin, is we just, we were so young, and we just enjoyed being young to a fault. Kasi hindi na namin naisip na, O oh, teka, meron pang ibang mga bagay sa mundo na kailangan natin i-explore or makita. Kumbaga, nasa relationship lang kami, nasa bubble lang kami, dalawa. Hindi na namin naisip na, oy, we need to, to keep on improving as individuals. So that was really the fault of the relationship. Kasi after a while, na, na-feel namin na, okay, yung beginning, it was exciting, it was new because... He's my complete opposite. So, there are a lot of things that, you know, made me feel excited when when he was with me and same, vice versa. Eventually, that ran out. And and because we were not progressing as individuals, we couldn't, ano, we couldn't like stimulate each other mentally, I feel, mm-hmm. and, and, and soul. So, yun yung reason kung bakit I had to step back and really take <laughs> it was a hard decision honestly because i didn't know how to jump out from something like that that i invested 10 years of my life in so but with prayers and everything kasi wala na i couldn't fight it anymore eh. i couldn't fight it wasn't even people around me it wasn't even my family it was a force that was bigger than that and it was a difficult time, like three months of difficulty because I was always questioning why. And when I finally jumped out, and now, after a year and a half, you see the reason why it had to happen. And all of a sudden, your eyes are open. And you said you experienced personal death. Yes. So, parang sinasabi mo ngayon na you're reborn. Yes, because you have to say goodbye to the, the, to the, to the 18-year-old. You know, you have to progress after a while. You become a completely different person. And now, because of that, I'm not scared of death anymore as well. Because life is such that may mga panahon na you just have to die to yourself and become a better person. You know, become a better soul. So, yun yung, yun yung nangyari dun. And I'm not only speaking for myself. I know, I know my friend also went through something like that. It was just like different processes, but I know he's in a better place now. Mm. And how are you right now? Uh, sh- uh, last uh, that I read about him is, uh, I think he's, he's already moving on. He's yes, dating. yes. How about you? Um, <clears throat> I, this is the ironic thing about it because I thought when I ended that relationship that I was not gonna be able to receive any kind of love or I was disillusioned and it was broken, you know. But I realized that there are so many forms of love. Kaya sinasabi nga nila sa akin, ano yun? Loveless ka? No, I'm not loveless. I'm actually more loved now than before because I can see that it branches from so many things. There's, there's love from, of course, my creator who I... Sorry. Diyan ako emotional kasi pagdating sa kanya, ang lahat ng magic na ginawa niya sa life ko. So that, and then my family, and then my friends, and so many other people who just come and enter my life and they're just magic for me because I never used to feel that way. You know, I always thought it was just um, an issue of family and one person. And when you open your eyes to it, 
we see so many people so beautiful, you know, so deep and willing to love, na parang ako, ah, ganun pala yun. Naisip ko parang, ah, okay, hindi naman pala tragedy yung nangyari. Parang nakaka, nakaka-gulat na ganito pala yung mundo, hindi mo lang siya nakita ng ganun for the past 10 years. So, pag naisip ko yan, na-overwhelm ako. Kasi ang an- lala talaga nung transformation in terms of outlook, perspective. Parang mas just put it in, 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 a, in a deep uh, perspective. Parang ka lang uh, phoenix, di ba? Oh, nag-rise ka. Nag-rise ka after ganun. the... Tapos yeah. ang laki-laki nung, mm. nung... Yun nga, parang totoo yun eh. First, you see the world in black and white. And now you see it in, in rainbows and colors. Mm. It's beautiful. And that's why when, when people ask me about it, or when people I see feel the same way, I keep on encouraging them to like, do not be scared to let go of something that already has died before, you know, before you even <laughs> accept it. Because once you accept it, then you realize that there's so much more to life than what you view. So, wala. Maganda lang din talaga mabuhay. Yun lang masasabi ko. Beautiful. <laughs> Drama! Kadiri! Hindi, <laughs> pero ano, maganda, maganda. Kadiri, guys. Maganda pa si-share ito, mga uh, kapatid. Ah, <laughs> uh, ano, ito naman, uh, punta naman tayo sa, ano, sa medyo mas anong pate. Uh, oh. Kasi lagi namin hinihilingan yung mga nagiging guest namin dito. Hindi, hindi alam ng pepsters o ng fans mo na may ganun pala si China. Ay! Si Chiggs. Uh, Sige na. Ayan na. Sige, at least ngayon marunong na ako maging vulnerable kasi uh, dati lagi lang akong, alam mo na, kailangan mm, well put together. Uh, ano kasi? Ay! Pakilala muna natin yung, ano, yung gagawin mo. Hindi, ano siya, hindi naman siya special talent pero siguro since isang taon at mahigit ko na rin naman um, akong nagsusulat. So, basa na lang siguro. Pero hindi naman to malalalim guys. Mga chor-chor lang ha? Sige, chids, basa. <laughs> o oh, ito, nakalagay thoughts. Random ah, thoughts ah, by... Pakita, pa, 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 ano muna? Ra- Intro muna natin. Ah, sige. Ladies and gentlemen, random thoughts by China Alcalesa. Ito. <laughs> Tapos ganun yung pagka ano. Kailangan ba hmm. medyo parang... Pwede. Mag, Papalagyan natin dami na ano. I wrote this um, July 2013. And I actually put this up in my personal Instagram account. Eh, ito lang yung medyo brave ako i-share kasi yung iba baka hindi nyo na ako ang sapin ko kaya tapos. At least ito medyo cheese balls lang. So, you are the night and I am the day. Almost one but always none. But there is beauty in the unrequited. In the transitions of almost. In the tranquility of your moonrise and the majesty of my sunset. That's for you. Yay! Secret! Sino? Ah! Hindi pwedeng sabihin kung sino. Ah. You know, I, I get a love from a lot of people in my life. Bahala na sila tumingin sa writing ko eventually kung para kanina. Marami yan! At saka yung iba, mas malala pa dyan. Pa-cute yun, guys. Really and imaginative. Promote mo naman yung, ano, yung mga ah, upcoming yes. projects, your Instagram, yes, Twitter. Uh, okay, so mga pepsters, you can follow me on Twitter and, and read my random thoughts. That's Chins Ortalesa and also Instagram, Chins Ortalesa din yun. I hope you guys can follow me so we can talk. And aside from that, um, thank you so much for um, supporting the ding because we're so happy na na, na accept yung, yung story namin. And I'm working with the most awesome group of people. There's Gabby Eigenman and then Glyza De Castro and Benjamin Alves. So we'd like to thank you so much for supporting the show. And um, thank you to everybody who supported my movies. Um, hashtag Y and Justicia. And sana po abangan niyo po yung Dementia sa September 24 na po yan. So kakaiba naman yung project na yan. And I hope you guys support it as well. Pwede mo bigyan mo kami na isang close-up kung paano kang maging mean, kung paano kang maging ano. Ay, sige, gagawin ko yung isang uh, eksena namin uh, kagabi na nakakatawa. Oh, uh, yung nakakatakot. I thought we had an agreement. You use your calendar for things that are important, not things like that. Pwedeng paka-erase mo lahat ng walang kwenta dyan sa kalendaryo mo. No, I said delete it! I didn't say keep it. I said delete it.
Ganun <laughs> Takot? Hindi naman nakakatakot, guys. <laughs> There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Tina Algaresa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Pepsters! Ito ang random fact ko about Benjamin Alves. Kung hindi niyo po alam siya po ay walking dictionary. Sa kanya ko po natutunan ng mga words na compendium at saka kung ano-ano. So kung gusto niyo po ng mga malulupit na words, siya po ang lapitan na inyo. Wish ko po sa kanya makagawa siya ng sarili ng dictionary. <laughs> <laughs>